Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. Today I wanna to talk about why I was using my safety squat bar to do overhead presses in the last video. I got a lot of questions on YouTube and Instagram asking me why I was doing that, and that's actually the first time I did it, but I wanna explain myself a little bit. So you guys know obviously I'm here in the basement. The ceilings aren't very tall. They're about seven and a half feet tall. I'm a hair under six foot four, and maybe a hair under is bad choice of words considering my current follicle situation. Um, but if I'm standing up straight and erect and put my hands over my head, I can touch the ceiling no problem. Now with a bare barbell doing overhead press, it's still doable here in the basement because there's no weight and there's nothing hitting the ceiling, but it's very close. And that kind of defeats the purpose of strength training where you wanna add weight to the bar. So if I wanted to do more weight than just the barbell, chances are I'm gonna hit my ceiling. Now some people work around this because they lift between the joists or the wooden planks in their ceiling to make sure that the weight doesn't hit that part. For me personally, I can't really do that because number one, my ceiling is covered where I train and the parts that are covered also contain insulation. So unless I want a cotton candy insulation rain bath and fuck up my lungs, it's not really a good choice for me to do that either. I ate a whole bunch of fiberglass insulation. It wasn't cotton candy like that guy said. My stomach's itchy. Now I've been able to work around this a little bit. You guys have seen some seated overhead press, maybe even some Z presses. Those are very popular these days. Could probably do some dumbbell work as well, but I really wanted to get back into standing overhead press to really work on that position. I think it's a great compound movement and I want to start doing that more frequently. Just haven't really been able to. Now true, I could probably go out and buy a bunch of five or 10 pound weights. That way the weights aren't very big. Just gonna load up the bar a lot and that way you wouldn't hit the ceiling. But to be honest, I don't really wanna invest any more money than I've already invested in this gym, which has been quite a bit. So I started to get to thinking, what could I do with my current equipment that would let me get as close as possible to doing an overhead press? And I thought I could use the safety squat bar. The main reason behind this is because the camber of the bar actually puts the weight a little bit lower than where the main center part of the bar where I'd be gripping would be. That way the weights would sit lower and when I'm pressing overhead, even though my hands are close to the ceiling, the weight should be offset enough where I can still kind of load up the bar with a little bit heavier plates than just your normal five or 10 pounders. And you guys saw me do this the other day and it worked okay. There were some issues with it. Number one, with the pads and handles, it was very awkward to do. The bar itself was a little bit thicker, which I wasn't used to gripping necessarily. And finally, with the camber itself, you do get a little bit of swing or sway because of it. But that being said, overall, it did a good job at mimicking an overhead press. But again, as you guys probably saw from the side of you from the last video, the handles and padding kind of really make you self-conscious about pressing. And sometimes it's hard to really push your head through as you should and have the bar completely overhead. So instead of doing a straight overhead press where I was pushing my head through and had the bar sitting above my head at lockout, it was more out in front of me, which I think long-term loading up the weights is going to cause some issues for my shoulder. So that wasn't really something that was too doable in my opinion. Now, luckily with the Elite FTS safety squat bar, you can actually remove the handles. I initially mentioned in my review of the bar that they actually sell longer handles as well. But in this case, no handles is a little bit better. So I was able to unscrew those and press overhead better without the worry of hitting my face against the handles, which is not something you wanna think about when you're trying to do overhead presses. So it did work a lot better. It made the bar path a lot better and more ideal. In the long run for me, I still need to work on my shoulder mobility and increase the range of motion in my thoracic spine and whatnot, but that's one of the reasons why I wanna start doing this exercise more. I wanna get stronger in this position, work on shoulder mobility as well. And I think this is the best option for me. Now, obviously in an ideal situation, I'd have a taller ceiling in my basement and I wouldn't have to worry about it, which will be coming at the new house that we're building. One of the requests of the builder I have is to make the basement deeper. That way I can do some overhead press work. But for me right now, that's just not a situation that I can fix, nor can many of you at home. So if you have a safety squat bar, this would be a good alternative to do. But even better in my opinion is if you have just a regular cambered bar, which I'll flash a picture of on the screen now in case you're not familiar with what that is, because it doesn't have the center handles or the padding. And true, you could probably take the padding off of this, but it would be a real big pain in the ass to have to put it back on every time. And that's not ideal. A cambered bar would work a little bit better. You'd still have the thickness of the handles to deal with as far as where you grip it, but you wouldn't have the annoying handles in your face, which is all the more important. The only real downside I could see with using a cambered bar is because the camber angle is a little bit greater and it, the weights sit even lower. You might see a little bit more swing induced in the overhead press, but again, with this, you have to pick and choose your battles because it'll still do a good job of emulating that overhead press. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have other questions or other suggestions or alternatives for what you do at home, leave them in the comment section below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay classy. We'll talk to you next time.